Hey guys, this is Lorena Magaña with New Filmmakers Los Angeles. Today, I'm talking to director Carlos Carrasco about his new film, Art Galleries and Back Alleys. Let's take a look at a clip from the film. Art galleries and back alleys is um, kind of a fun project. It uh, came about when a brand new Lexus hybrid little car was donated to Self Help Graphics, which is an arts collective that's been around for 40 years and they're down in Boyle Heights. And they had a fundraiser coming up and uh, Lexus likes to support the arts and uh, one of the people at their ad agency said, hey, I've got a crazy idea. Suppose we donate a car and challenge them to turn it into a work of art. And this indeed happened. And then uh, taking it a step further, they said, suppose we put a filmmaker on this and document this process and maybe we can end up with something that's not only sort of archival and historical, but maybe could be entertaining. And I got the phone call. And as a filmmaker, when you get a call that says, hey, we're going to give you a budget, and we're going to give you a crew. Would you like to come on board? So I was like, well, hello. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I went down there and um, uh, had a bit of a jog trying to catch up because I kind of came into something that was sort of already on its way, so there was very little pre-production or that sort of thing. It was more like jump in there and roll tape and, and start shooting away. And uh, it turned into a really fun thing because once I met the artists involved, Patsy Valdez and Vile, uh, the first thing I noticed was that they had this wonderful chemistry between them. She's sort of like the older generation sort of yenta, you know, and he's like the young, slip, slick up and comer. And they have this wonderful back and forth between them. And I thought, hey, this is great. I just have to, you know, keep rolling and shoot the two of these reacting to each other. What was your shooting style like? The first day that I showed up uh, with the crew, um, we had set up some rough call times and things like that. It's like we had talked to them about, well, maybe you should arrive about eight, nine in the morning, give us some time to set up and everything like that. And the first day was amazing. As soon as they hit the door, they were just talking. They were, they were raring to go, and especially Patsy. Patsy's wonderful. Patsy had her whole thing going, her dialogue, and it was like, but, but it was kind of, it, somebody should have shot me trying to get this thing under control because Patsy comes through the door and she has this unique way of talking and expressing herself and saying really kooky things, but I'm like, Patsy, you're not mic'd yet. You're not, you know, and, and, and so it was like, I felt like all of these pearls were spilling all over the floor and, and we were like still putting batteries in the cameras and things like that. And uh, I, I know the crew thought I was crazy uh, for the first couple of days because I was like, why aren't you shooting? Why aren't you filming? Did you get that? Did you get that? It was, so it was the other way around. It was like, it was like a wealth of anecdotal material and, and, and non sequiturs and, and you know, they, they were wonderful. The, those two could do a sitcom. Just put him on in a room and turn the camera on. What were some of the challenges you faced when you were shooting your film? I'll tell you what, the real challenge on this project, because I've directed before, I mean, it's like, um, yes, this is a, was my second actual film uh, project, but I've been directing for many years, uh, so the whole thing of, of working with actors or talent and guiding them through things, that's, um, not unknown to me, but what was, but I had never done a documentary because I've always worked with scripted material and, uh, you know, dramatic, whatever, but scripted stuff. This was really sort of like an improv situation. Um, and as I said, in the early going of it, when the project was first proposed, it, I don't think even the powers that be kind of knew what they wanted. They just sort of thought, okay, we're going to put this car there, we're going to put these artists there, and yeah, and let's put a crew there too and, and, and see what happens. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today. Well, thank you. It's a pleasure, and thank you for hosting us. Everybody came, had a wonderful time. 
it's always terrific when you see it with an audience and you know you, you get to experience the reaction of the audience. So that, that told us a lot. It was terrific and we're very, very appreciative.